You cannot leverage anything that you want more than the other person. Understand what I'm saying. You can't do it. They're going to see it's bullshit and they're going to look right through it. Part of the purpose of game, part of the purpose of knowing how to mind fuck a woman, know how to arouse a woman, to seduce that woman, is not just so that you can quote unquote get the pussy. Just get the pussy. It's not that important, right? It's about getting to a position where you have the ability to cause a woman who you want to fuck to want to fuck you more than you want to fuck her. That's it, right? There's a difference between a woman giving you pussy versus you giving her dick. And the difference is how both of you feel about it. It's a mutual thing. If you're not on the same page about what that type of scenario and dynamic is, then you're going to have power struggles. So this is what Dom Sub Dynamics is. Most people like to play it equal. And try to give the impression of the idea that it's equal when it's not. Somebody typically wants it more. And if the person who wants it more isn't in a position where the other person also wants it, but they <laughs> but they know how to handle control, then the situation is going to go left eventually. Watch my video. Whatever you trade for sex will, sex will eventually be used against you. See, as a man... Most of the time, we have certain biological imperatives. And women have biological biological imperatives, too. I'm not going to say, like a lot of men say, that, oh, a woman's, her nature is to be monogamous. I'm not saying that either, right? Both men and women like to fuck. Both men and women like a certain uh, level of variety. Both men and women like to trade up for someone who they're more sexually attracted to. That's that's just nature and we can't just act like this is just a male nature thing and men like to trade up sexually you know trade up sexually when they get some more money and women like to trade up uh, for do with more resources it depends on what you bring into the table if you bring in the full package and a person has some sense they are gonna stick with your ass especially if they have a connection to you and they're not emotionally damaged right it's emotional damage right emotional damage You got to understand if somebody is not emotionally damaged, you bring in a full package to the table, they going to stick with you unless somebody is putting some bullshit in their ear. So understand that. Now, what they think is the full package and what you think is the full package may not be the same thing. So understand that as well. And sometimes that conversation comes in mind. But what you have to understand is this right here. You cannot leverage anything that you want more than the other person. And what I mean by that is this. If you're masculine and you're dominant, if you're masculine dominant, you have to be able to set the expectations, the standards, the pace and the flow and the tone for both the sexual and the non-sexual relationship. You got to be able to set both. And that means that if you want the full package with this individual, They need to want both more than you want both, right? Because if they don't, then the situation is going to become transactional. If you want sex more and they want a relationship more, then sex will become transactional for a relationship. If you want a relationship more and they want sex more, then it's going to become transactional. And if they only want one of them, right, and you want both, then they're either going to get turned off or they're going to feel like you're chasing them and trying to hold them into a box that they don't want to be in. So I also got to touch on the fact that there's some people, as men, there's going to be some women who want a relationship or they just want to talk to you and they don't really want to fuck you. You have to have the ability to discern women who are sexually attracted to you, right? I say only deal with those women. And discern women who just want to talk who just want validation, a connection, but they aren't really interested in you on a sexual level. Because understand that a woman will be willing to trade her body to you if you make her feel good enough about herself. Like if if you build a connection with a woman, she'll trade her body for her. But understand what you had to do to get the sex. You're going to have to keep doing that to keep getting it. And if you feel like her standards are reasonable for it, cool but understand that that standard may raise over time you may be getting regular pussy right a lot of niggas have in-house pussy syndrome 
So you may be spending 40, 20, 40, 80 dollars on a date. Cool. 120, it depends. 130, it depends. I don't know. It depends on you, nigga, right? But if you have to take that woman on multiple dates to fuck, then once you start paying the bills, she's gonna get used to you paying the bills. If you're trading emotional validation and social, if you're trading emotional validation, then she may lose respect for you for being her emotional pincushion. If you're trading social validation, like taking her out on dates, then being in a relationship, then eventually every time she wants to take a step up, she either may bait and switch or she may start cutting back on it and threatening to cut off the pussy in order to get to the next level. And guess what? After you reach the pinnacle of social validation, which is the home, marriage, one and a half kids, right? Once you get that picket fence lifestyle, there's nowhere else for her to go up on the social validation aspect of it outside of you continuing to grow socially as a man. So if you're happy with your career, I got some news for you, right? Now, in that type of situation, a woman can fuck with you for a period of time, but eventually she is going to need a higher source of social validation in order to maintain her desire to fuck you. You have to know why she's fucking with you, right? You got to know why. So if it's about emotional validation, social validation, or financial compensation, right? Then it's going to have to increase with time. If she gets to a better place, where her cup gets more full, then she is going to shift to abundance mindset versus survival mode. A woman is only willing and able to trade her body for resources, emotional, social, or financial, as long as she's in survival mode. If you validate her to the place where she's in abundance, then she is going to start to think more so from a place of her natural desires. Now, the thing, funny thing about an abundance mindset is that you reach a place of getting more in tune with your natural selfish desires when you're in abundance you start thinking about the things you really want to do now when i'm saying that when i'm saying that you cannot leverage anything that you want more than the other person you need to deal with the woman and seduce her mind to the point where she wants to fuck you more than you want to fuck her that's this is simple sometimes you can meet a woman and she could say, ah, I'd give him some pussy. He's cute enough, right? And you don't have to do any mental work to do it. You might be doing some things right that you don't even know you're doing. And then you stop doing it as soon as you like the woman. Or you can't maintain that anytime you meet a woman who you actually like. Right? You can only do that with women who you feel the jump offs. And if you can't maintain that, grow it over time and then get her to like you as a person as well. Which will happen naturally if she sees who you are as a man then yeah, that should have burned out. What you have to understand is that that woman has to be in a position where she wants it more than you want it. Because once you're in a position where a woman wants sex less than you want sex, then that naturally puts her into the dominant position. Because to be dominant means that you are the primary giver of pleasure and the primary receiver of control. If you are the main person who wants sexual pleasure, but that woman is in a position where she primarily desires something else, then consciously or unconsciously, she is going to leverage what you want to get what she wants. So here's the difference between having a sex with a woman, ha having sex with a woman where she feels like she's giving you pussy versus she feels like you're giving her dick. If she feels like you're giving her dick, then the things she does outside of sex to show you that she appreciates you are going to be things to where she understands that dick is not free. So she's going to be a little bit more willing to be open, open minded. She's going to be a little bit more receptive to you. Right. She is going to be willing to spend money. Right. And understand that she's partially spending this money because she wants to maintain having access to you sexually. She wants to have access to you overall. Yes. But she wants to maintain having access to you sexually. Now, keep in mind. A woman can do some of the same exact things when she feels like she's giving you pussy, but now that's draining her even more because she's not getting something that she wants more than you want out of it. So she feels like, damn, if she, you're giving her dick, then it's like, okay, cool. Well, I'm spending this money, but I really want to fuck with him. 
So I don't mind spending a little bit of money. I don't mind tricking off a little bit on this nigga. That's how she gonna see it. And she, if she values you enough, she's gonna be cool with that, right? But like, yeah, you know, it come with the territory. That's some good dick right there. I said, hey, I like this nigga. But if she feels like she's giving you pussy, right? And then she also has to spend money. It's like, damn, I gotta get this nigga pussy and I gotta get this nigga, and I gotta spend money on this nigga, and I gotta do this, and I gotta do this. Then she's gonna feel like she's doing too much. And it's just gonna be a matter of time for that woman flips the script on you. Right? Before she tries to cut the sex out. And if she cuts the sex out, or she cuts out the other things that she's doing to maintain it, and then you keep fucking with her, it's just a gradual shift over to her being in the dominant position. It's dom sub dynamics, right? Basic dom sub dynamics. But if she wants to fuck you more than you want to fuck her, then you're in a position where because you have a natural sex drive that's consistent, then you can build her up, right? You can build up her desire level. And then when she actually experiences it, it's going to be a much more enjoyable situation. It's going to be a much more pleasurable scenario. It's going to be something that she gets a lot more validation and pleasure out of. Very important concept to understand. And, and this works on a non-sexual level as well. If you want a relationship more than she wants a relationship, whoever wants something more is... The, the whoever wants something less is the person who sets the standards and sets the tone, the pace, and the expectations for what goes on in that scenario. So if you want... A relationship more than a woman wants a relationship you're in the feminine position right if you're in that position then what you have to understand about that particular woman is that she is going to be the one who sets the standards of what's going on within that relationship so she's like no i don't want to be talked to that way no i don't want to do this like this no i don't want to do this like that no i want you to do this i want you to do this i want you to do this but when you're in the masculine position when a woman wants the relationship more than you want the relationship, then you can set your standards about how the interaction should flow. Now, to be a masculine dominant, you have to be in both the position of her wanting a relationship more and her wanting sex more. The difficulty with that is that you have to be in a position to do that with a woman who you would like to have both with. <laughs> so you have to be in a position with a woman who you actually want to fuck and you would like to be with and she has to want more has to want both more and it takes game to do that it takes a mindset it takes knowing who you are as a man but it also takes having the ability to set the expectations right when she wants sex more than you want sex which is a set a uh, nine level of sexual attraction right and this is on a scale of five to ten if she wants sex more than you want sex then you're in a position where you can raise up her sexual level which is you can open her up to new levels of sexual experiences new things she wasn't open to might can fuck around public you might you know nothing in the mouth nothing in the throat nothing in the ass whatever you want to do and whatever new you bring to her she's going to be excited about that and enamored with it and you can even develop new fetishes for the woman you can establish kinks and fetishes that will make your sexual attraction to her and her sexual attraction to you something that's more sustainable right because she wants it more than you want it then you're not going to be in a situation of sexual frustration where she's not available enough to you in order to meet your sexual needs right so you can maintain that when she wants sex more than you want sex right but you're consistent then you can build up her desire level she's in her submissive sexual ego then that works like edging that works like uh like pleasure denial and it builds up if she wants sex more than you want sex then if she's not acting right at that moment, you can hit her with the no more dick, <laughs> right? You put her on dick sucking duty. When she wants sex more than you want sex, right? Then she loves sucking your dick to the point where if she's not acting right, you can withdraw from having sex with her for that period of time and either put on dick sucking duty or no sex at all. And your needs are still met, but she has an added level of benefit and an added level of motivation to where it not only boosts her sexual desire, but the fear of loss will put her into a scenario where she has another level of motivation to correct her behavior. Understand that. See, when a woman desires sex more than you desire sex, she can't go on pussy strike. It don't work. Because she is going to fold. Right? Now, this is an excuse. This is not an excuse 
to not carry yourself as a man. This is not an excuse to not lead the way that you should lead. What this is, is leverage, right? And this leverage is something that helps lead, yield towards respect, right? When it comes to the relationship dynamics, you may want a woman to speak to you a certain way, to behave with you a certain way, to follow certain protocols. You may want your dynamic to work in a particular way. But what you have to understand is that it's not enough for a woman to just desire to want to be in a relationship with you more than you want to be in a relationship with her. It's not enough for her to just love you more than you love her because a woman can love you more than you love her enough to where she's willing to trade her body. Understand that transactional sex over an extended period of time erodes at a woman's psyche. It goes against the core of her being. And after a period of time of doing that, she's not going to want to do that shit anymore. Even if she enjoys herself, she is going to be in a position where she wants better for herself because she feels down on herself for being willing to trade her body for something. Most women don't have a capacity to maintain that over a consistent period of time with someone they have emotions for. Now, if a woman is a, a streetwalker, if she's a prostitute, she's a sex worker, then she may be able to do that for a period of time. Right. Especially if you're putting the money directly into her hand. But I don't believe that you should be making a relationship out of a woman who is willing to be transactional about sex with you. Now, there is space for cooperation. Right. Because sexual erosion can take place. A woman's desire level can drop down. And you want to be with a woman who respects you enough to say, I want to do it because it makes you happy. But you don't want that to be her primary motivation to have sex with you. I do have to throw that in there because there are periods of time in life where a woman's sex drive may drop. She may be on birth control. She may have antidepressants. She may have just had a kid. But understand that when she desires you on a high enough level, most of the things that women use as excuses will go out the window. There are women right now, right, who they just got a wax, right, got a Brazilian wax. Their esthetician told them to wait for 36 hours after they got their wax to have sex. She's like, nah, I'm trying to get this nigga this freshly waxed pussy. I, he need to have his ball shit. That's what I'm trying to do. She ready for it. You know, another thing is this. There are women right now who are in a position where they just had a kid. They're ignoring the doctor about waiting those six weeks after the kid to have sex. Now, you got to have the self-control not to fuck your, woman off, off, fuck your woman up off some shit like this, right? You got to have the self-control. There are women who desire you enough to where if they're on their period, they're going to be sucking that dick anyways. Or they're going to want to do it anyways. There are women right now who have kids who work full time jobs who still have a nigga in their life who they're going to fuck regardless because they want that dick. And it's not enough for a woman to desire you just on a level of, well, you're giving her a bunch of clitoral stimulation. Yes, we eat the pussy. Yes, we'll use the toys. We'll use the vibrator. Yes, we'll rub the clit while we in the pussy. But that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about her desiring your penis inside of her vagina, inside of her mouth, inside of her ass, whatever orifices you want to put it in between the toes. Hey, nigga, I ain't mad. I like feet, too. But what I'm saying is this right here. When we're talking about this particular topic, it's important to understand masculine, feminine and dom sub dynamics. Important to understand both. When you understand both, then you're in a position of understanding sexual polarity, the sexual polarity quadrant. You cannot leverage anything that you want more than the other person because they're not going to feel like your effort to do it is genuine because you're going to fold before they fold. Right. And every time you fold on what you say with the woman, she loses respect for you. Even if she rewards you for it up front, she's going to lose a level of respect for you. So just understand that you don't want to be in a position where a woman can use pussy strike on you that comes from not adequately setting up your dom sub and masculine feminine dynamics if all you want to do is hit it once then maybe that's on you if you don't mind spending a little money to get some pussy shit that's on you nigga but i don't suggest you make a relationship out of that i don't suggest you treat that as this is the woman who should be your wife because just because she's transactional about it with you don't mean she's going to be transactional about it with every nigga she come across you have to be able to tap into that nature of a woman, to that, that deeper, darker sexual nature of a woman. And if you don't have the ability to do that, then be comfortable with the reality and the possibility that another man may do it for her. Right? Now, what you got to also understand is that sex is not everything. It's not going to be the only thing that a woman wants from you. 
right? It's not, and, and sometimes it will be. And when it is, treat the situation accordingly or keep it pushing. But if you are tapping into the deeper, darker sexual sides of a woman's nature and she loves you as a person, that's going to be more powerful than another nigga who just taps, taps into the deeper, darker sexual sides of a woman's nature. You got to have both. And it's not just about balance. It's about having fullness. It's about being holistic. All right. But whatever you want more than the other person, you can't leverage. Right. So there's ways of going about that. There's ways of going about it. And that's the purpose of having game. That's the importance of understanding the psychology of sexuality. Right? That's the importance of building yourself up as a man. That's the importance of having a mindset and an ideology around relationships to where you have real standards. You have real expectations. You know how to be realistic. You know how to lead. You know how to set expectations. So that... You you don't want to deal with a woman in a way to where you're looking towards her boundaries, her understanding, her mindset to govern the way you're going to lead the relationship. Because certain things about a woman's boundaries and her standards are going to be real shit. Some of it's going to be real. Some of it's her core values, right? But most of the time, a woman's standards, her core values, her beliefs are going to be things that are malleable. They're going to be things that are based off of the beliefs of men who died long before you were born. And it may not even, even if it's spiritual or religious, it may not even be related to the actual book of her, her beliefs. It's tradition. It's social programming. It's social conditioning. Right? And when it comes to some of these things, and a lot of these things, if a woman desires you enough, she respects you enough, then she'll be open-minded to your point of view on a much greater level. You don't want to deal with the woman in a way to where her boundaries, her her values, her morals are what govern the way that you carry yourself as a man. You don't want to do that. Have your own. Have your own in a way that suits her best interest in your view. And don't lie about it. Be honest about it. But there is a way of leading that way without having to express that woman, express that to a woman verbally up front. Right? One thing I say is I'm not doing something with a woman that's going to disqualify her from dealing with me. <clears throat> like on a on a judgmental type of level. Right? I just don't believe that. Like I'm not fucking no married woman. Some men believe in that. I ain't doing that, man. I don't believe in a woman in, in helping a woman cheat. You know, in, in being the cheating partner unless I had her first. Because in that case, it's just a loner. Right now, that's not saying that that shit can't go left later anyways. But the point is, she needs to want you more than she wants to do things her way. Right. That's being feminine. Right. But to be submissive is for her to be the primary receiver of pleasure, the primary uh, giver of control. Now, desire and respect is what makes somebody willing to do that. Trust is what makes somebody willing to do that. But there's two types of trust. There's trust in who you are as a man, trusting you as a leader versus trusting you as a person. Trusting you as a person does not mean that a woman is going to have sexual desire towards you. A woman can tell you that she trusts you when really that trust that she has is probably the beginning of the end because she feels too comfortable. She feels too safe with you. Yes, safety is important, but there's two types of safety. There's safety in your masculinity, right? Safety in your dominance. Trusting that whatever you do to her is going to be something that she enjoys, even if she don't enjoy it in that moment. It's going to be beneficial. But then there's also trust that she believes that you're harmless. There's trust that she thinks she has you figured out. So when you understand these different aspects of things, you have to come to a place of understanding that you cannot leverage anything that you want more than the other person understand that a woman cannot leverage sex with you if she wants it more than you you want sex she can't do it and that's most of women's bread and butter when it comes to relationships is leveraging access to their bodies so this coach brody i'm out